Good afternoon. Welcome to uh, another episode of uh, OCD. Um, back in January, I gave my wheels a ceramic coating. I used um, some G-Technic um, C5 uh, wheel armour. Um, so, you know, three months on, um, we'll have a look at, uh, at the state of them. Um, now, there's a few things that, uh, have, that I've noticed with uh, having ceramic coatings on my wheels. Um, first of all, it's really easy now to clean my wheels. Um, there's no problem whatsoever. I tend not to use a dedicated um, wheel cleaner anymore. I just use um, ordinary shampoo. Um, and uh, that's fine. It's really, really easy to clean. Um, and what that has done, um, I've swapped around the way I clean my car now. I used to clean the wheels and then the car. Now I clean the car and then the wheels. And the reason I do that is because I use the shampoo that's left over after washing the car. I use the shampoo that's left over to clean my wheels. And that seems to work really well for me. Um, a few of you might not agree with that process, but it seems to work for me. So that's, that's good enough. Um, it's a beautiful April, uh, early April afternoon. Um, it's nice and bright and sunny. Not too warm. It's about 8 or 9 degrees out there. Um, so today I'm going to give my car a maintenance wash um, but for the purposes of video I'm only going to pick out the bits um, uh, that are to do with the wheels. Um, so I'll show you um, when I rinse my car um, and rinse the wheels, snow foam the car, snow foam the wheels um, and then I'll wash, rinse and dry the car and then we'll come back and I'll show you um, uh, how easy it is to clean the wheels. Um, the uh, um, power washer will probably get most of the dirt off uh, straight away anyway um, and then with the snow foam and then rinsing most of the dirt seems to come off um, but we'll wash the car and then we'll come back to the wheels so let's go out and have a look and uh, we'll open the doors and see how uh, see how dirty the wheels are. Haven't cleaned these wheels I've done about I think it's about a thousand miles since the last clean, which is unusual for me, but we've been a bit busy lately. Um, so there's about a thousand miles worth of grime and dirt and muck on the wheels. So let's go out and have a look at them. So here we are. Let's have a look at that. You can see that they're quite grubby. Um, tend to find that uh, with ceramic coated wheels they don't get as dirty um, so that's another bonus you know they don't get as dirty the dirt seems to come off um, and they're much easier to clean as you can see the car itself is quite grubby There's so there you are you see uh, they are quite grubby so I'm going to get all the um, bits and pieces out um, and get ready to wash the car. So let's have a closer look. I've just power washed it. I don't know how well this is coming up on camera, but uh, that's already a lot cleaner. You can see um, not only how good the uh, ceramic coating is, but you can also see how good the uh, tire dressing is as well. I only use uh, Car Pro Pearl as a tire dressing, but that's, uh, that's nice and clean. So we'll uh, get the snow foam out now.
Right, so here we are. I've washed and dried the car. Now I've got a bucket of soap somewhere. So there's my bucket of soap that's left over from washing the car. And in my wheel cleaning bucket I've got a detailing brush. I've got a microfiber cloth brush, I don't know what you'd call that. That has lasted me for about a year, it's absolutely brilliant. It gets behind um, the calipers, it gets right inside the barrel for the grand price of £1.75. It's a great piece of kit. So I've got that and I've got a little mitt to get in and around the spokes. So uh, all this has had is a, um, as you've seen, um, power washer spray, it's had the snow foam on it, I've washed the snow foam off and then I carried on with the car. car's finished now, well it's dry, um, and now I'm going to do the wheels. So this is, this is how I do it, so I go in and just ordinary car shampoo, go in and do the caliper, that nice and clean. Because when I put the ceramic coating on, I coated the uh, calipers as well. So they're pretty clean, pretty easy to keep clean. around the valve just do the corners of the spokes go around the uh, weight inside the barrel again I go that ceramic coating as well so now I'll use my little microfiber brush, mop, over your kite, and get right inside. Give that a bit of a rinse out. With my little hand mitt. Start at 12 o'clock. And I can get right behind the spokes with this. Rinse that off. And that's it. Now what I'll do is I'll blow dry it. And while we're on the subject of blow dryers, so flex blow dryer exactly the same 
the specification as this was £200. This DeWalt one, £120, and if like me you've got other DeWalt products where you uh, that are battery powered, the batteries fit other products like your drill and sander and all that sort of thing. So this one, when I bought it, I bought it without the batteries because I've already got a set of batteries. £60. Unbelievable and it's great, it's a great little tool. So anyway. Clean microfiber. There, that's all there is to it. That's the beauty of having ceramic coated walls. Absolutely dead easy to clean. Absolutely dead easy. All I'll do now is uh, I'll go around and do the other three, um, and then I'll come around and give it a uh, spray of um, bead maker, just to give it that little uh, extra top up. It doesn't last long, it lasts a couple of weeks, but um, I normally put bead maker on them uh, every time I clean them because it's not a long lasting product so um, there we are nice clean set of wheels as easy as that so there we are pretty as a picture nice and clean goes with the car now got all that road dirt off as you can see let's get right in there you can see it's I've done the finished product washed, dried, and uh, a spray of uh, bead maker. So, look at that one.